Hey friends, I'm playing in the basement today. It is 70 degrees outside, but it's very windy. Not the best time taking baby plants out or raking dead leaves, which fly around in the wind. So I've given up and I'm coming downstairs. I'm going to pot up tomatoes. And I just finished potting up all my peppers on that bottom shelf right there. And um, yeah, let's just play in the dirt today. So if you've been watching for... I don't know, any length of time, you're going to know that I am an imperfect gardener. I'm not a perfect gardener. Um, I'm going to tell you a lot of things that I know that have worked for me. Sometimes I'm going to listen to my advice and sometimes um, I'm not. Here are some Brandywine tomatoes that are way, way too big to be in this container. This is like the third or fourth time I've said that in a video and I still did not get to it. But today, Today I am. So what I'm doing, I put my holes in there with my knife. You could use a screwdriver or a drill or anything sharp that you're comfortable wielding. And I'm gonna go through and count how many I got in here. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> I have a lot, so I'm gonna need more cups. Mm -hmm. Cut away from yourself if you're going to play with old knives. I am sure there's a more efficient method than this, but I'm just working with what works for me. Brandywine Red. I'm going to write it on all my cups. throw them in my soil bucket, which is down on the floor right here. Brandy wine. And actually, I'm not going to get through all these today because I do not have enough potting soil to do that. Now, I have two options here. I go and I could buy more potting soil from the big box store. Or I can go out in the backyard and dig my own compost and use that. Um, either way, there's a risk. If I use my own, I'm going to bring creepy crawlies into my house. Um, I'm less likely to bring creepy crawlies in my house if I get it from the big box store, but I also don't know where that's come from. I will probably choose the way that is the easiest because I am busy. And that's okay. Do the best you can do. Do not do the best every time. That's not it's not possible. You can't possibly grow the best plants the best way all the time unless that's literally the only thing that you're doing with your time. And who among us is that? No one. We hosted Easter this year. So I just had a house full of 40 people over for the weekend. So last week was all about cleaning, organizing, making sure we had enough food and drinks and um, making sure I had enough chairs and tables set up and all that kind of stuff, as well as my regular uh, Easter duties as a mom, uh, making sure my kids had Easter clothes. I don't know about you. Tell me, I guess, in the comments here. For me, growing up, we always had new Easter dresses. Easter dresses when I was little, Easter hats, little Easter purses. Um, Easter was something where we always had a nice new outfit to celebrate the new spring, the risen Christ, all the newness and freshness of that. And we always had new clothes, which I didn't have a ton as a kid. We didn't go out get new clothes whenever we wanted the way my kids get. So it was a big deal and I always kind of stuck in my head. So every year, um, every year I really enjoy getting new Easter outfits for my kids. And I will go ahead and insert a photo here of uh, the kids on Easter because they were super cute. Go. Mm -hmm. All right, this might one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is eight right here. I forgot how many I counted. 
This is a very loose process today. Because I am feeling, I'm feeling tired. I am tired. I am multitasking a lot of things. We're at the end of the school year. My kids are worn out. My kids' teachers are worn out. I am worn out. I am both very ready for it to be summer and for us to be running a little bit more feral and equally terrified about us running a little more feral and me not being able to give these children to their teachers. Um, I don't know. Keeping it real today, aren't I? All right. On a plus note, it's closer and closer to main garden productivity, which even though it stresses me out because it's a lot to do, I enjoy. I enjoy it a lot more than this in between time. So this season of gardening right now stresses me out the most. Um, I'm never stressed out when it's time to plant the seeds. I enjoy planting the seeds. I enjoy planting. I enjoy it once they're in the ground. But this middle time, <laughs> this middle time where I have some seeds in the house and some seedlings outside and I have to plant some direct seeds outside and I have garden beds to clean and everything is at a different stage as I watch the temperature go up and down. This stresses me out a little bit. This is when I lose plants. So this is when I kill things. I don't kill seedlings too often. I don't kill mature plants too often. I do kill seedlings in this middle stage right here. Um, I've already had some casualties. Let's see, what did I kill? I killed, oh, the raspberry agastache. Killed it. The spotted bee balm. Killed those. I think I've got one... I don't know. I've killed a lot of things. Um, a lot of my peppers dried out too much, which was a bummer. Um, whoa, dudes. So you'll have that. If you're growing things, you're killing things. There's just really no way around it. Um, anyone who tells you differently is lying to make themselves look good. <laughs> I have killed as many plants as I have grown, for sure. All right, these are all my big ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna need some more. Wow. I planted a lot of brandy wines. Emily, these are for you. My sister loves brandy wine tomatoes. I can't make up my mind and keep growing all kinds of them, but she, she has chosen her favorite and I told her I'd grow her some this year. So here's your brandy wines, Emily. Nice and healthy. One, two, three, four. Can you hear the puppies? Got the puppies outside because they're trying to eat all my stuff. Sorry, puppies. That's what happens outside. Okay, so I've got a beautiful table of tomatoes. Um, these one, two, three and a half trays are all up potted individually. I've got a tray along the back and a tray along the back there. So two trays to up plant still. Cherry tomatoes and some slower growing tomatoes that I have a little bit more time on. So um, when I get my next pack of soil or fill up my soil container, um, I'll go ahead and do those two trays and I think because it's so warm this year early I probably won't need to up pot them again. This is probably good. They'll probably live right in these containers until it's time to go out. So tomatoes, beautiful. Let's take a quick peek at the other things that are still in the house. Okay down here are all my peppers. They are underneath these red and blue spectrum lights but they are looking really really well. Um, these are all the ones that I'm going to keep. So I've got 36, 37, 38, 39 individuals. And I got a couple six packs back there. Plenty of peppers for me. All the peppers I have that I'm going to pot up for sale. I just went through and pulled all the ones I'm keeping out to give these ones some more room to get bigger in their containers. So I watered them right in these containers. 
and I'm gonna leave them here until, um, I don't know, until they get a little bigger. For the most important pepper, my single seed challenge pepper. Hello, baby Shishito. I have a few trays of flowers still in the house. These are balloon flowers. Um, I've got gumfrina. These are all my dahlia transplants. Over here, these are Tithonia right here. Uh, I got a little bit of chamomile. I don't know how come that guy got stuck in the house. These are the ones I just started were Cosmos and Sunflowers. I've got these ground cherries. Thank you so much to whatever subscriber told me to wait. They take a long time. I've got two beautiful plants now. Down here, I've got my tray of basil. And then I have another um, tray with eucalyptus. These are all those scabiosa flowers. Back here, I have got some stock, some celosia, and some lobelia. And then this whole tray next to them is all the zinnias. And they're getting really long and leggy and need to go out. So I might start hardening them off pretty soon. The other tray that's in the house is this one, which I'm working on hardening off a little at a time. It has got things that can probably go outside now, like my lupines, my butterfly weed. Um, it looks like I have got some Anna's Hyssop, a couple extra, um, you know, <laughs> you know, chamomile. Look how pretty my ivy geraniums look. My Ella Campaign. I got a borage right here. So these can start to go out. So I'm going to harden these off a little bit at a time. And then I have my beautiful, crazy cucumelon vine that is growing everywhere. <laughs> well, we'll see. Well, I hope you enjoyed the sneak peek into the grow room and enjoyed watching me up pot 100 tomatoes. Um, see, I time lapsed it for you. You don't have to watch 100 tomatoes. And hopefully tomorrow the wind will have died down and I'll be back outside in the garden. Have a great day.